Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a offset path for your vector file. This is used a lot in sticker creating, but has a lot of other applications that are great as well. So the first thing you're going to want to make sure is that you have your layers panel open. You're also going to want your pathfinder panel open. You're primarily going to be using the unite button. You also want to make sure that you have your swatch panel open for however you're going to be creating your cut line. For this example, I'm using Roland VersaWorks Cut Contour Path. So the first thing you're going to want to do is duplicate your artwork. This artwork is going to become your cut path. Now what you want to do is direct select everything you just created. And once you have everything direct selected, you're going to want to hit Control G to group everything into one layer. Now you're going to want to lock and hide your actual artwork layer. And this is where it gets important. You're going to want to go back to your group that your cut contour is going to become and you're going to want to look at your fill and your stroke colors. It's okay if it says that they're question marks, but what you want is you want just fills, not strokes. In order to do that, you want to go to Object and then Expand Appearance. And then if you look back at your fill and your stroke, you'll see that now it's only fill colors. Now with your cut contour selected, go ahead to your Pathfinder panel and click Unite. What this does is combine all of your objects into one object, except I had an envelope filter on there that we don't need. So I can go ahead and just delete that since I have the basic shape of my offset cut path. I'm going to go ahead and select what I want as my offset path, make my original artwork visible again. And as you can see, my fill is just gray right now, but if I turn that fill to a stroke, I can see my artwork. And then I'm going to go ahead and go to Object, Path, and then Offset Path. This is where you're going to enter in the settings for how much you want your path offset. I prefer on stickers to have a eighth of an inch, so 0.125 inches, and I also prefer for my joins to be rounded. That's going to give you a cleaner appearance and a more aesthetically pleasing cut as well as less work for your machine to have to actually lay your cuts down. And once you're satisfied, you want to go ahead and hit OK. Make sure that you have your preview button on so that you can see what your path will actually look like. Turning off the actual art layers, you'll see that this actually just expanded the path. So now I have two paths, an inside and an outside path. I'm going to go ahead and select that inside path and delete it. It is important that you have your artwork turned off at this point so that you can see if you have any issues inside the cut path that you don't want cut out. For example, this little notch here. I don't want that cut in my sticker. So I'm going to go ahead and select it, delete it, and that is my offset path or my cut contour. The next thing you're going to want to go in and do, and this is totally optional, you're going to want to take out any sharp angles in your artwork. This will allow for your cutting blade to have a smoother curve around angled parts and will make weeding a lot faster. Adobe has this really nice feature where you can just select an anchor point that is an angle and as long as there is enough room it adjusts the radius of the corner by just clicking the little circle that has the circle inside it and dragging it accordingly. The next thing that you may want to do is go in and reduce the amount of anchor points in your cut path or in your offset path if you are going to cut. When your RIP software reads your cut path it is reading from point to point, anchor point to anchor point. So the more anchor points you have, the more data it's processing and it can actually take your machine a little bit longer to cut. So there is actually a very easy way of doing this. You just want to select your cut path, go to object, path, and then simplify. 
and this will bring up a dialog box that will allow you to slide for either more or less anchor points. It kind of gives you its best guesstimate when you first click, but sometimes you may want more or less to kind of make sure that the shape is correct. So you can always mess around with the little slider. You can see if I go with too few, it starts to distort the cut path. So right about here is good for this design. I'm going to go in again, just make sure I don't have any sharp angles. And that's it. I now have my cut path. So I will now use the swatch for Roland printers, program it as the cut contour. I will change the stroke weight to 0.25. And this is it.